Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Hi, everybody. I thought uh, I haven't done this in quite a while, so I thought maybe I would give you a little garden tour. It's been a, quite a few years, and uh, things have changed a little bit. Here we have pumpkins. Now, these pumpkins are going to get pretty big. They set up to 100 pounds, but I don't see very many pumpkins, maybe two. And um, I don't think they're going to get up to 100 pounds unless... Uh, well, unless pumpkins grow into like December or January. Uh, we have basil. Got a bunch of strawberries, but those have already been harvested. Carrots. Parsnips. Swiss chard. We've got a lot of marigolds and garlic and remnants of some poppies there. Uh, these are all peppers. These were supposed to be green peppers, but it looks like they're, uh, looks like they had some mix up at the seed factory. And these are jalapenos, uh, marigolds again on some chamomile. We've got some, uh, zucchini growing here. And if you look very carefully, oh my gosh, I, I think that maybe, maybe Zachary, the zucchini. Uh, and there will be more about him later. Okay, some more, more strawberries, of course. Now look at these tomatoes are finally starting to uh, get ripe. These are, I believe, early girl tomatoes here. We've got actually quite a few to pick this morning. Um, these were supposed to be uh, some cherry tomatoes. And I think I threw an early girl tomato in there uh, as well. This is, um, well, I can't remember the names of these tomatoes, but I just call them um, Big Pink Tomatoes. That's the name. You know, I used to be in marketing. So uh, welcome to the Big Pink Tomatoes. We've got uh, winter squashes infiltrated into this. We've got, these are lemon cucumbers, which I have yet to get one to eat. Oh my gosh, they're so good in the morning. You can just pick one. Eat them like an apple. Um, did a lot of container tomatoes this year. Um, I think I planted 27 tomato plants. I think. Um, we've got huge corn. This is what they call decorative corn. But I'm going to uh, actually <coughs> use it for... Um, I'm going to grind it. I'm going to grind it and make polenta or something, something on a ground corn. But this, this corn stalk here is probably, I'm guessing 10, 12 feet tall right there. You can see they, they tower over my head. And it looks like we might even have a ripe little one right there to pick and kind of see what's going on. The trick is to get these things before the squirrels do. I have two kinds of decorative corn. Um, and uh it's supposed to be really really beautiful uh, again there's our potted tomatoes now let's let's take a look at this this is um this is some winter squash that i'm growing and let's see let's see what this corn looks like this is kind of a, a small tiny little ear but it looks like if this this is ready to come off so let's see let's see what we have here shall we so I am not really sure what you would decorate with this corn. It um, It's not very good looking decorative corn, but um, that's a little ear. Looked like it may have had some little problems, but I'm going to, I'm going to taste it. See what it tastes like. Scientific method, you know, taste something and then pass judgment on it. Um, here we got some little bees going into the uh, winter squash, which is just going crazy. I think we're going to have a lot of good heads. And I think it's acorn squash. I always get them mixed up, so I just say winter squash. Again, lemon cukes back there. More uh, container uh, plants of tomatoes, which have been <laughs> really fun this year. Uh, my watering system's having problems. I need to get that fixed. Here we have um, some of the flat green beans, which I really like to fry up. Oh man, they're so, so good. And lots of them. 
I'll start getting this mosaic um, disease on the green bean leaves. And so they're probably not long for this world. You can see how the squash have just, they're just taken over everything. They're on the tomato plants, pulling things down. We've got a lot of cucumbers. Um, these are pickling cucumbers, but uh, we wind up eating cucumbers so much that um, I don't know if we'll have a chance to pickle any because, man, we've just been munching down every day on those. Uh, more cucumbers in here. As you can see, a lot of them. And um, check out this kohlrabi. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's going to be gigantic. And people, kohlrabi is something you don't see too much of. It's kind of an old, tiny vegetable. Uh, it tastes like a cross between a if um, if uh, jicama and cabbage had a baby, that's what kohlrabi would taste like if you wanted to eat their baby. Uh, you can see there's a whole bunch more in here. And the cool thing is you can eat it raw, you can fry it, you can bake it. Man, it is just, I like to make a little slaw out of it sometimes. It's just such a delicious vegetable. Okay, here we have more corn. You can see it's not as tall as that corn, I mean, holy cats, when that corn, uh, once it starts getting some ears on it, I'm going to set aside an ear, and I'm going to plant more of that next year. It is fun. I, I've never seen corn as tall as that since uh, I grew corn, the uh, corn from corn nuts one year as a kid. That was a promotion they had, was free corn nut seeds, and uh, that was a tall, tall plant. Okay. Rasp berries, tons of rasp berries this year, except for they got kind of baked in the sun and and got hard. Uh, more last bits of lettuce that are growing here. I should plant some more. Lots of poppies. Need to harvest the seeds of those. People are always asking for poppy seeds. Uh, here we have squash. Um, growing up the trellis that used to hold the peas and the peas are all on beets uh, we love beets here so we planted as you can see a lot of beets uh, we're walking back out of this garden we've got some basil again pumpkins i already talked about those and uh, follow me won't you let's go let's go see what's what's back here again i've been really big into containers this year and so we have some containers of, again, these giant pumpkins. You'll see I actually have a pumpkin right there you can kind of see. Uh, again, I don't think it's to be 100 pounds. Eggplant. Uh, haven't had any eggplant to eat yet. You can see there's a little guy in there. And um, hopefully he'll grow big and we'll have an eggplant to eat pretty soon. And uh, Sarah's compost is doing good. And this will round out the tour of the garden for 2021. The little back garden, which used to be my hydroponic garden. I think back a few years ago, I had that posted. Patty pan, um, zucchini in there. And I'm not really seeing any. They're very elusive. I don't know why there's such a hard time of, of getting those, but they're, they're somewhat elusive. And we've got some cherry tomatoes here. They're doing pretty good. I kind of had to set the water down on those, shut the water down on those because they were um, just growing big, but not producing much as far as fruit. So these are potatoes. And this thing is just full of, I'm thinking it's gonna be just a giant bag of potatoes when that is done. And here we've got some of these yellow zucchini like you like I featured earlier. And um, they're kind of small in the container, but I'm going to harvest some today and we'll see how they taste. All right, that's it for uh, the Garden Tour 2021. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll do this again in another five or six years. Okay, bye. I got a Humpty Dumpty heart.